Good morning, you're with a hairy golfer and I am just outside Box. That's B-O-X, Box. And I am here for the Box Railway Tunnel. Why on earth would I be... God, there's traffic. Let's just stop the traffic for this. Why on earth would I be at a railway tunnel? Well, this railway tunnel is just short of two miles long and it was engineered by the great man Isambard Kingdom Brunel. If you've got a name like that, you're going to do great things, aren't you? I mean, these days they call kids Mercedes, Chelsea, Chlamydia, etc. So what's great about this tunnel? Well, Isambard Kingdom Brunel was born on the 9th of April. Same as me. And it is said that on the 9th of April, that the sun, and it's way up there now, so it must be real early in the morning, but on the 9th of April, the sun shines down the length of this tunnel, which is approximately two miles long. Now today, I am playing at Kingsdown which is up there on them there hills. At Kingsdown, let me put you down again. Kingsdown was opened in 1880, so it's 140 years old. It's obviously changed. There's an awful lot of trees around there now that uh, weren't there before. And at the time it opened, there were only about 12 or 13 golf courses in England. So it's about the 13th or the 14th, maybe even the 15th golf course to open in England. So we're going to have a bit of fun up there. Today uh, I've got with me Double Shot, Basher and Barney. Now, in our family, when an animal comes into the house, and we got a new puppy, I get the job of naming it. So I named it after Barney. Now, as you can see, I've got three layers on today because it's going to be bloody cold up on that hill. It's going to be quite windy. I'm just looking at the clouds chasing across. It probably isn't going to be much fun, but I'm looking forward to it all the same. So uh, let's get back in the car and get up the hill. The western portal of the box tunnel. I do like that word portal, don't you? Well, welcome to Kingsdown. Fortunately, we got a three club wind on the day and I got the camera virtually on the floor. And even then, I've got one of the guys holding it because it just kept blowing over. But despite the wind, I'm driving the ball really well at the moment. I've had two golf lessons so far and it's really starting to kick in. I won't say I've got it totally, but I'm getting it. And yes, I am well aware 
I'm wearing trousers the colour of baby diarrhoea. Look, they were in the sale. They were only 20 quid. They're supposed to be 70 quid. Can't resist a bargain. Do you analyse this when you get over? Well, this one was an absolute drive and a half. I took on all the trouble. And I was actually past that bunker you can see on the right hand side. Absolutely killed it. Not quite so proud of this wedge though. Really struggling with the wind here, not knowing what club to take, not confident, and no golf swing. I got double shot holding the camera here because it just kept blowing over. But I'm really proud of the drive. And then I'm proud again of the second shot. Flag was cut way on the left behind the bunker, so I just left it alone. Hit seven iron to the heart. And then double shot had to hold the camera again for the putting. God, it was windy. Fourth hole and the first par three. I could marry this par three, it's absolutely gorgeous. Greens in a hollow, banks around it. I've had to take a six iron from 138 just to get pin high. God, it went half windy. Now they'd just done their greens maintenance and I couldn't understand how I could leave this putt short, but I did. It was downhill all the way to the flag. Yeah, right. What a plunker. Anyway, I have no doubt they'll be much quicker in a couple of weeks. Right, the first par five. And this is the first leaky tee shot. Just a hybrid out of the rough here. I leave myself 145 up the hill back into the breeze and I hit what I would describe as a career 5 iron but you don't get to see it because I mucked up the recording again. Such is the wind wearing on your nerves and another weak putt to finish. Stroke 1 and I'm trying to turn over the driver here to get around those bunkers a bit. But you know what you say, if you're left or right, it's the coach's fault. Well, I can't hit the green from here, but I can certainly get it pin high. So I hit a punchy six up the right hand side of the green. This is rather special chip two bounces in the rough to kill the speed and roll it onto the green number seven another hole I was going to be hitting a little fairway wood on but just forced to hit the driver because of the wind fortunately I hit a bloody good drive
Now this is a shot I'm struggling with this spring at the moment. Hitting a wedge with the ball well below your feet and I'm catching them really fat. It doesn't help that the ground's so wet that the club just keeps going down and down and down into the soil. really hard chip here. Chip up onto the green and I've got to make it run up a step. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at this sort of thing. degree dog leg to the left everything that you can see to the left side of the overhead is OB so you have to drive it at those two bunkers and here I just cannot judge the, the right to left wind bogey got bogey written all over it Now I really wish you could hear the banter from Barney. He never stops. It is non-stop, mick take, piss take, pull your leg. Absolutely kills you. I was his partner and he was still taking the piss out of me. I had to tell him to shut up, let me concentrate. Hey, we got one back, Rob. Yeah, yeah. I hit a damn good drive here but it just tippled over the edge of the bank on the left. Avoided all the out of bounds nicely, but I put myself in a real sticky position. I've got a grot lie in the rough here, on an up slope. I've got that tree that's right in front of me, and all I can see of the green is the left edge of the green. Sometimes you get lucky. What a bounce. I wish it hadn't been so windy. I was so looking forward to this. And so much having a laugh and showing off the lads as normal. But it is what it is. Right, the back nine is out in about five days. Join us for that. I'm sorry the quality is low, but when the wind's howling like that, there's not a lot you can do about it. Cheerio!